Hello and welcome to No Man's Sky everybody, Alan Paul here. We're going to be doing the Anomaly video today, the Anomaly mission for the weekend. I haven't done this in a few weeks, hope you all haven't missed me too much. We're going to see what the Nexus has in store for us today. I know there's the Expedition Redux for Voyagers going on right now. People are doing speed runs on it. I will be doing mine tomorrow. Um, didn't know if I was going to do a speed run, but I see Delta and Jason going back and forth, and I've got to put my two cents in, too, I guess. So, hey, you know what? We haven't taken the Golden Vector out in a while. Why don't we go ahead and take her out? And here we go, out to the anomaly. Hey, look, it happens to be sitting right there. Don't remember doing that, but hey, I'll not look a gift horse in the mouth, you know what I'm saying? So it happens to be right next to my freighter. Go figure. All right, now we do have multiplayer turned off right now. So we shouldn't see anybody else in here. Okay, there we go. Yeah, nice parking space too for once, huh? All right, and that little blue icon above the Nexus indicates that we do have an anomaly mission available for us. Let's go ahead and grab that and take a look and see what we got. Bloodthirsty plants. It looks like we go to kill plants again today. Initialize the mission. Start the mission. So we'll get 1,800 Quicksilver plus about uh, 11 Ion batteries. That's pretty nice. Especially for you, those of you who are just starting out and haven't played No Man's Sky much lately. This would be the right one to do. It'll get you moving along a little bit with some extra added items in your inventory. So as you can see, it throws us into hyperspace as soon as we leave the anomaly. And easy return. When we finish up the mission, we come back. All right. And we're in the system it wants us to go to. Let's take a look around. Just wait for the icon to show up. It'll tell us where we need to go. There we go. Oral hazards. Okay, so its approximate location is marked. Now, the key to this one is that we have to look for a traveler who died. Traveler who died by plant. <laughs> Not the best way to go, right? So we're going to scour the surface. A couple different ways we can do this. If you look at your icons at the top where it has the little oral hazards detected, but you'll detect it, you also see at the very top of the radar, we got that showing. So we're going to look for something that looks like an icon that's going to be like a diamond shaped almost. A little pointier. Not like that. That was just an arrow indicating something underground. Ah, ah. See all these communication balls? And you see the icon. It's a little diamond shaped icon with the atlas representation in the center of it with a little yellow hole in the center. So very nice. Okay. And here we are. So we got to start it by talking to this unknown grave. The atmosphere here, but... By the strangling vines, very little ammunition. The fallen traveler's log seems to mention the floral infestation, but holds no further clues. I will need to scout to locate the hazardous flora. Let's leave. So we automatically are entered into the mission, and all we need to do is look around for hazardous flora. Now, there's a couple different ways. You'll notice it says two week for distance estimate. Don't listen to that. What you're looking for is you're just looking for plants that'll be marked out. Now, caves would be great. If you could find a cave, that'll be a great place to go. But as you can see, this place also has... Let me just switch to a different scanner. We're in analysis mode now. You see it has whispering eggs. So we're not going to find a whole lot here in regards to hazardous flora. But we'll find it. Let's keep looking. Now, the great part is, is if you really wanted to... Ah, you see there's no gravity here either. Another thing you could do is go to another planet if you really wanted to. So let's go ahead and just do this. Let me just take a little another boost with my jetpack here. And we're going to take a look. It looks like we might have a cave here. Hold on. Is this just a hole or is it a cave? It is a cave. Excellent. Caves are great places to find hazardous flora. Now they don't show up. You see there's one right above me. Right there at the top of the screen where the S is located right now for south. And it won't show up. You see, if I look through my scanner, it's not showing, right? But if you look at it, 
it suddenly goes into protection mode and now it shows up as hazardous flora. So, you can use anything you want. You can use one of your guns if you wish. Uh, I have a neutron cannon here, but I'm going to just use the good old-fashioned mining beam. It'll eat away at that real quick. Okay, so that got one of them, and we need 13. You'll see that there's a whole bunch more down here at the end of the cave. So, let's get these here. Looks like there's at least three or four there. So, let's go ahead and get those. One, two, three, and four. Okay, four gone. So, we're up to five. We've got 13 to get. So, that's, what, eight more? If I'm doing my math right. If I'm mathing properly. Now, this is a pretty decent cave. I don't know how far it goes. Maybe it doesn't go as far as I thought it did. Yeah, I don't see much. Let me turn on my light. Uh, it goes up that way just a little bit. And I don't see, not seeing anything else. So this seems to be the way of things. This is what we're going to find as we do this. We're going to have to find more caves. Because I don't think there's any surface dwelling hazardous flora out here. Let's just boost to another area. Oh, looks like we have another cave right here next to us. Low atmosphere here, so you can float quite a bit. Let's take a look. Don't get too close to that hazardous flora because its gases will get you. Looks like we have a sentinel out there somewhere. He's not going to like us taking out the flora, but that's okay. If we're underground, he can't really get to us anyway. Oh, we've got a couple at the ceiling here. So this is going to be number six. One, there we go, and here's number seven. Excellent. I'm getting sodium out of them. So that's good. Good good start. Just a mining beam is all you really need. Again, you can use anything you want. Terrain manipulator is not a good idea. You'll destroy them. Alright, let's see. Let's look. If you look underground, if you see that there, humming sack, that means that's an underground cave. So let's go over there. Oh. Says it's... Like right here, I think. Yeah, right there. There it is. So let's see if we have an opening to a cave over here. If there is, it's straight below us, and I don't see an opening anywhere near us. So let's switch over to our terrain manipulator. Make the hole big. And just go down. You can take a look, and if you can get your... Hmm, it's not above. It's not straight below. Must be really, like, right below me. Oh, there it is. Okay, we broke through. Switch back over to our mining beam, and let's take a look around. So there's the humming sacks that we saw. So I'm going to stick to this cave for a little bit. Oh, there was an opening. Look at that, huh? Isn't that funny? Okay, I don't see any... Oh, there's one up the ceiling. I missed it. So that's number eight. Looks like that was the only one, maybe? Some more humming sacks on the ground near me. No, it's a longer cave. Okay, good. And if you get lost in a cave, as long as you have a terrain manipulator, you can get out. <laughs> okay, yep, the cave opens up over here too. This is a little bigger over here. Is there anything down there? We're going to keep looking. Uh, let's see, nothing over here. If you keep your, keep your eyeballs, if you keep your center moving around and looking if you come across one that you're not actually seeing with the naked eye it may start spewing stuff at some point and then you'll know that you found one okay looks like we came in this way we went that way okay yep yeah, there's none none here so let's switch over to this mode and work our way back out what do you say There you go. We just made our own e exit. Through the ceiling. There we go. And if we're going to float a little bit here. Let's go all the way over here now. 
I love these airless planets because it's so easy to just keep floating. For long periods, you could just float across the whole planet if you wanted to. I got enough charge in my jetpack to get wherever I want to go here. Okay, looks like we got another cave here. Let's drop in. So this one's going to be entirely done with caves, it appears. Let's check behind me, make sure I didn't step past someone. Uh, make sure we switch back over to our mining beam, because... We don't want to blast them out of existence. Oh, there's one. That's number nine. We need four more. It's funny, because we're only finding them in batches of one, twos. One and twos. I only have that first batch of four. Oh, there's one right in front of me. There we go. He's gone. That's ten. Anybody else? Anybody else? Come on. Plenty of ferrite dust. Plenty of cobalt locks. Hum lots of humming sacks. Lots of humming sacks. Let's go over this way. I'm going to check this end of the cave first. Uh, I don't see anything up there. Wow, that's quite a cave system we got here. Up oh, there's one. So that's number, what, 11? Yes, 11, as it says. There's one over in the distance there. There's 12. And we just need one more. Uh, what do you think? This way... No, nothing there. Okay. Go this way. Oh, got stuck. Looking around, not seeing anything just yet. There's got to be one more around here someplace. Nope, nothing here. Guess we should have chosen the right cave, not the left one. Why? Because it was the right shape, right cave to choose, correct? Is that right? Oh, yeah. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, nothing here either. Huh. Alright. Alright, go back this way. Let's go up this tunnel over here. Was there a tunnel there? It wasn't. Oh, there's a whole group of them right there. Look at that. I missed them. Alright, so there's 13. We're really done. We don't have to go any further if we don't want to. So let's try to work our way back out of here. And we're out. Work our way back to the ship. And that's it. That's all it takes. So again, it looks like a lot of this is going to take place underground. Nothing on the surface. Now, you, again, you could go to another planet in the system, so let's check that out real quick. You go to Discoveries, you can see the system. If you right-click one time, you can see that there's four other planets here, and I'm sure one of these has plants on it. So you could go to another planet and take out the uh, take out the ones there. Look in caves. See? Everybody's got advice. Look in the caves. All right. So there we go. Lost without your help. See? There you go. Not a lot of people realize that. So there we go, folks. Anomaly mission complete. We just have to pull in the anomaly one more time. I like how they're doing the asteroid fields now. I really like them better. And let's head in. Now, if you're wondering how you get back to your ship, we'll show you how to do that. Like, if you got a freighter and you want to get back to it, you want to get back to the system you were in before, all you have to do is, once you complete your Nexus mission here, just exit the anomaly one more time and you'll appear in the system where you're where you were before no hyperdrive fuel required there we go so we're going to complete it and there we go we get our 1800 quicksilver and we get 11 batteries and we're done and that's it so that brings me up to only 47,000 Quicksilver right now. I should spend some of it one of these days, but there we are. If I'm not mistaken, I don't know if there's anything in here right now. Let's check number one on here. Oh, we got the statues. Of course, I've been seeing something about those. Looks like all of them are available since all four tiers were complete. So feel free. Ah, ice statues. That's pretty cool looking. The Gek, not bad. Ice Blob, not sure I really care. The Astronaut looks pretty righteous. So we'll grab all four of those. That's 2,000. So you'll have to do maybe another mission 
from there that'll give you about 300 quicksilver. Is it 300? I think it gives you 300. Let's double check that. Yeah, 400. Gives you 400 quicksilver for those. And you'll get some other stuff. Back a sentinel pillar. Yeah, that's not too hard to do. So there you go. That can give you some extra. So that's it for the anomaly mission. I'll go ahead and show you as we leave. So you know exactly how this works. And show you how to get back. And we'll take our golden vector again. Which hopefully some of you got from the last mission. Those that didn't get it on Expedition 1 like I did. And see, it just takes you straight into hyperspace, and we'll send you right back where you started. Alright. So there we go. No big news for me today. Just that I'm going to be doing a speedrun tomorrow afternoon. We're going to be live streaming somewhere around 4.15 Eastern Time. And we'll keep going until we can get the best time we can get. So you see, I'm back. Now, I didn't rightly appear right next to my ship, but I'm going to head there right now. There we go. All right. Now, we're slowly and surely closing in on the 1,000 subscriber mark, and I really appreciate everybody who has subscribed. Thank you so much for all your patronage and all your viewing and everything that you guys have done. We are going to do something special for the 1,000 viewer anniversary. We'll, we'll wait until it gets a little bit higher because, you know, the, the viewer counts, pardon me, the subscriber counts tend to fluctuate. So if you thought you were subscribed and you don't seem to be anymore, maybe check. Uh, check that real quick down below and make sure you are still subscribed. Um... That seems to happen once in a while. And please hit that like. The like really does help the analytics and helps us all out as far as us uh, creators are concerned. But again, we'll do a thousand subscribers. Like when we hit like a thousand five or something like that, that's where we're going to go ahead and do something special. We'll do like a few hour live stream. We're going to have a planet that I've selected to be our anniversary planet, our celebratory planet that we can do as a community hub. So that's where we go with that. And here we are. See, it took me that long to get to my freighter. I could have pulled my freighter in if I wanted to, but uh, it wasn't really necessary. So here we go. I'm going to come in for a landing, and I'm going to uh, bid everybody adieu. So I want to thank you all for watching. Again, please hit the like, hit the subscribe if you aren't already. We'll have more of these anomaly videos. Pretty much I do them every Friday and release them to the wild for anybody to do over the weekend. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please by all means leave them there. I thrive on those, and I really enjoy everybody's comments that they put in. So I want to thank you again very much for watching, and this is Alon Paul signing off, and we will see you all in the next video. Thank you very much, folks. Watch my stream tomorrow night. Speed running. Take care, everybody.